totally do that in the intro. How's it going, guys? This is my sandwich, and before I, I release my tribute to Super Smash Brothers Brawl, I want to give two shouts real quick. So first half shout is I hand joke because he's always stick with me, and and I want to say thank you by shouting him out. So go check him out. And the second YouTube and the second YouTuber I'm shouting out is Faryway for playing me in a couple of his reaction mashups. Um, I was in his Metro Prime Four reveal part six, his Super Smash Bros. and Tails Switch part five, the reveal trailer, and the main reaction mashup for Metro Prime Four. If you include that. I mean, that's the second one anyway. And the fourth one he put me in was the Everyone Is Here trailer part two. So that's the early that's the earliest reaction matchup I was in from him. And so I wanna say thank you to Fari Away for putting me in a few of his reaction mashups and and maybe he might include I don't know if he will, but he might include me in the Isabel reveal where she turns over a new leaf and joins Smash Brothers. She I mean he might he might include me. I don't know if he will, but it would be nice if I, if he did. Anyway, let's get to the tribute. It's time to make the tribute to Super Smash Brothers Brawl. So the tribute I'm making it for the game is it's talking all about it. So, so of course the original twelve stayed, and we got and we have the same. And some characters were cut, which were Doctor Mario, Pichu, Young Link, Mewtwo, and Roy. And the characters that stayed that joined mainly were Peach, Bowser, Ice Climbers, Zelda slash Sheik. Um. Um, Falco, Mario, no, not Mario, um, he's, he was always in the series, um, Marth, um, Ganondorf, and Mr. Game Watch, which is pretty great, and and that's pretty great, and during E3, 2006, they revealed some new characters, and let me get my phone so I can show you, so the final ro roster has, has went from 25 to 35, so, like I mentioned in the other the other characters that, that stayed, I'm not going to mention all of them because I don't want to. So, let's talk about some of the new characters. Like, like, like we finally got more than one Kirby character, and this character is broken by the night. He's top tier in the game, and he's broken. Luckily, he was fixed in Smash 3 as Wii U. Nerf Banda. Anyway, so the second character they revealed is from the Kid Icarus series, which is Pit. Like, like, oh, I think, a lot, I, I didn't think a lot of people knew who he was until this game came out, so. So, that's a, so that's a small bonus, because the new kids, the Kid Icarus Uprising game, I mean, he, the, the, that's the game that Pit was in, and, and, um, it, and it was directed by, by the man that created Smash Brothers, Daddy Sakurai. That was a good game, Sakurai. So, so Pit is pretty good, and and Samus, um, when she unle and when she unleashes her final smash, um, she um transforms into Zero to Samus, which is another new character. And then they also revealed Wario. Pretty crazy. And um, and and I will tell you about uh, two certain characters at the end. Um, but first I want to talk about another character, an another Fire Emblem character that replaced Roy, which was Ike. Then, and there was another Pokemon character, I think replaced his Pichu, which was the Pokemon trainer. With Squirtle, Ivysaur, and Charizard. Um, Charizard was separate in Smash 4 3DS and Wii U, but, not, but in Ultimate, now they're all together again. Then they also revealed another Donkey Kong character, so Donkey Kong wasn't the only one, Diddy Kong. And they also revealed another... Um, Earthbound character, so Nuts, so Nuts won't be the only one, and it's the character that Sakurai was originally was going to include in, in Melee, but to replace Ness, but he decided not to because his game didn't really, so he decided to just put him in this game, Lucas. And they also revealed Kirby's arch nemesis as a new character, which is King DDD. Do you think Man Knight's a bad guy? Let me know in the comments below. So King DDD, he's a he's. Fun to play, and the character that I replaced Mewtwo in this game was Lucario. And else, and they also re revealed um, a Pikmin character, which was Olimar. So we can get more franchises. Um, actually, I should have shown Olimar than Lucario. And then this character was the troll character in the game. In Melee, it was Mr. Game Watch. In this game, it was Rob, because he's a he's a video game toy that came to that a video game disguised as a toy. Pretty crazy. 
Then they revealed another Zelda character to replace Young Link, which was Toon Link. And they revealed another Star Fox character, which was Wolf. Shuffle is happy about Wolf coming back. Now for the two characters I mentioned out. So in Brawl, they decided to in introduce party characters, which are characters that are not from Nintendo in this game. Those characters were Snake and, S and Sonic. <clears throat> so I main Snake in this game because he, because I'm really good with him. I'm glad he's back in Ultimate. I think you saw my reaction on my second account. You know, you should check out that reaction matchup I was in. Again, shout out to Farty Way. <clears throat> now, we're going to talk about the stages. So, in this game, there were a lot of stages. Like, Battlefield Final Destination came back. We had the Final Plaza, or Dolphino Plaza, Luigi's Mansion, Mushroom Kingdom, Mario Circuit, and Rumble or Falls, um, Bridge of Elton, Pirate Ship, Narfair, Fregate, Ultron, Yoshi's Island, Hellboard, or, um, or Hailboard, I don't know how it's pronounced. Um, Lava Cruise, Pokemon Stadium 2, Spear Pillar, Port Town Air Drive, Castle Siege, Warrior Inc., Distant Planet, Smashville, New Park City, Summit, Sky World, 75M, Mario Bros., Flat Zone 2, Pigno Chat, Hennebout, Shadow Moses Island, and Green Hill Zone. And they also had some melee stages coming back, which were, were, they were, um, Rainbow Cruise, Jungle Japes, Temple, Brinstar, Yoshi's Island for Melee, Green Dreams, Granaria, the original Pokemon Stadium, um, Monet, and Big Blue. So this, I'm glad Big Blue is back in, Big Blue, glad it's back in Ultimate. This game is a lot of fun, because... What I really like about it the most is story mode. So story mode is a is a mode where so technically story mode is technically Oh, yeah a second. Sorry about that. I had to I had to text my aunt real quick. So anyway, what I like about why I like about the what about Brawl the most is the story mode. And you can use that to unlock all the characters quicker. Like if you want to unlock characters without fighting them, then you can just use you can use story mode. To, you can use story mode to unlock them without fighting them. And there's a few certain paths you can take. Like you, you can rescue Peach or Zelda. I would recommend rescuing Zelda so you wouldn't have to fight Mario and Peach. But instead, you you can fight Link and Yoshi. I I I might do a gameplay of that. I don't think I will, but I could if I want to. What do you think? I sh do you think I should? Let me know in the comments below. I actually might do it on my second account because I haven't uploaded on that account for a while. So I might start uploading on the second account. Should I start uploading on my Miss Sandwich 2 account? Let me know in the comments below. Anyway, um, another thing I like about it is that, um, so let me, so, story mode, like I mentioned, um, it's, it's so much fun. And they made reference in the in Smash Bros. for 3, so we win Politea's guidance when Politea told Pit that Mario was his first ally in the fight against the Subspace Army. And the Subspace M series one is the reason why people love this game. This game is underrated. I think they should they should play this more than Melee. I might do a video where I rank all the Smash Brothers. I don't think I will, but I, I should do should I? Let me know in the comments below. So that's technically it for. Oh, I should also mention something. They introduced assist trophies, which is kind of like Pokemon, but it's not Pokemon. So it has characters from different series that's kind of like helping, like Pokemon. So like, like we got um Knuckle Joe. We got um I think a Metroid, in there. Um, we also got Waluigi. Sorry, Waluigi fans. I mean, uh, we were we thought it was cool that he was an assist trophy in Brawl. And then Smash Nerds and Wii U, a couple of us were upset when he was real as a sister trophy. And then in, and then Ultimate, we were all upset. Not me though. I'm glad he is a sister trophy because I don't know what his moves that could be. So besides that, maybe that's pretty much it for my review for review for Super Smash Brothers Brawl. Thank you guys for watching. Um, next week I will release a vlog. I will release a vlog. Bye.